Question 51 in the ASA blue paper. Say we have a strong asset. Strong assets like to dissociate. They like to go towards this right-hand side of the dissociation equation. So we're going to have lots of these ions floating around. If that happens, if we have a strong asset and we've got lots of these ions floating around, that means our Ka value is going to be very high because we're going to have a lot of these uh, dissociated ions. If that, so if our Ka is very high, what that means is our pKa is going to be very low because when you run it through this formula, you'll get a very small number. So strong acids, therefore, have a low pKa. Similarly, strong bases, they also have a low pKb. So strong, strong acids have a low pKa, strong bases have a low pKb. So this helps us a lot in answering the question. What you also have to know is that a strong acid has a weak conjugate base. And similarly, or, or conversely, a strong base has a weak conjugate acid. So, with this in mind, what we know is that um, in 51, we are given a strong base. So if we have a strong base, therefore we have a weak conjugate acid. So the stronger the base, the smaller is pKb because strong bases have a low pKb. And also um, its conjugate acid will be weak. So therefore as weak acids have a high pKa, the correct answer is A, that a strong base will have a small pKb and a large pKa.